All right, here's another video review. This one's for Masterpiece Ultra Magnus MP22. It's an old Takara Tomy figure. I'm running out of figures to review. I've gotten through most of my set. This is one of the last ones uh, worth reviewing, in my opinion. And this guy's been around for a while. He is everyone's stand-in Ultra Magnus, I believe, for Masterpiece. There have not been too many companies that have attempted this figure and honestly I think we could use an update whether it's from fans toys to Karatomi or one of the other third party um, companies I mean I think this guy is great but I think he's definitely um, done his time and we're, we're ready for a new enhanced version of this guy um i got this figure second hand so he was slightly used which i don't know if some of the complaints or nuances with him have to do with that or that's just the way the figure is uh, so feel free to comment um, if you've experienced the same thing on your figure or if i just got unlucky with the version of mine um We'll show you, I had to I had to pull the box out to remember which MP this guy was, because it's been so long. And he is, as I said, MP22, Ultra Magnus. I remember there was a lot of excitement around this guy when he came out. And I am happy to have secured the version of him. Um, but like I said, could use an update and I'll explain why as we go through this review. So first things first, he is quite large, um, but that's to get him to scale properly in his car carrier truck mode. You know, he falls right in scale with Optimus Prime and, you know, all versions of Optimus Prime that have been released to date. Uh, getting in close on the figure, he does have a pretty good head sculpt. One of, the, one of my complaints is with the head. You know, see, he can look up, but mine doesn't... It doesn't feel like a hinge. It just kind of moves up, and I don't know if it's, like, sticky or just doesn't... Doesn't do what a head usually does as far as up and down. Turns okay, but the up and down is kind of strange. And again, not sure if that's my copy or the way the figure is. Moving down, you know, he's not really painted. It's a lot of just colored plastic, which again was the way they were doing figures in the beginning. They didn't have that glossy, shiny paint. Um, but that being said, he still does look pretty good and it is a very good representation of the cartoon Ultra Magnus. Does have a little bit of die cast, his feet are metal. Gives him a pretty, you know, he is a heavy, he is a heavy figure because he is big. You know, he does have a nice, you know, um, opening here where you can fit the Autobot Matrix. It's got a lot of cool detail in there. This does open nicely and in the way that it did in the movie. He does have his missiles on his arm. You know, he does really capture the character, and I do I do think they they got it right in a lot of ways when it comes to that. Um, it's a little weird, his knee joints, getting him to, between the knee and the thigh joints, getting him to just stand straight and sturdy without having a, a little bit of wiggle up here. I think I got it right, but I don't know how I did it. And if I adjust something and I go back, it takes me a while to get them to that, you know, kind of sturdy, sturdy position. But when you do find the right mix of thigh joint and knee joint, he does stand perfectly well. Looking at him from the side, um, this angle, he really does look like cartoon Magnus. Um, you know, the proportions are pretty good. 
with the cartoon. I really like the way they made the, and, and a lot of figures do this now, I guess they make the truck wheels uh, fold around and look more like robot wheels where they shrunk down like in the, like in the show. He does have this little butt flap um, that from the side you can put it down. From the front you want to put it up so you don't see it through his legs. Um, but not a huge deal and again it's an older figure. The back does clean up actually pretty nice considering. And that's really the only, you know, got some holes in the lower leg. There's those big tires I was talking about. You do have the butt flap. But, again, you can put it down if that looks better for you. And the transformation is kind of fun and not too challenging. You know, and it, and it does all, he does look good in truck mode as well. He doesn't have the gimmick where the, you know, he can turn into the, the white looking Optimus Prime like the original toy did. I think that would have been a little too, too involved, you know, to get an MP10 style, which they did make, MP10 white Ultra Magnus version. But to have it incorporated into this figure would have been a bit much to ask, so no complaints there. He's a little limited on articulation, you know, there's no waist swivel, there's no ab crunch. Again, it's kind of a dated thing. His shoulder hinges are a little weird. Um, but he's got the basic leg, knee movements, bicep bend, finger joints, you know, so he, he is kind of posable, but you're going to want him just kind of standing there behind your, behind your figures, uh, being the presence that he is. Do some size comparisons because I enjoy size comparisons. It's an excuse to get my season three crew back out here along with some others. So here he is with MP9, Rodimus Prime. And I didn't do a review of MP9. I don't think I'm going to. I've shown him in a lot of these other videos, but he is a really cool figure. But you've seen him enough through these other ones. But he and Magnus look pretty good, and again, Magnus just looks a little big, but again, best representation we've had to date, and I'm okay with it. Might do these, just keep keep them out there to kind of get, build a group shot. We kind of know what these guys look like. Here is Fans Toys Apache Springer. About the same, about the same size as Rodimus there. Here is, trying to get Fans Toys Rouge in here. Oh, she's not gonna, she's not gonna cooperate standing for me, but I'll put her, put her right in front of Magnus there. You can see it's about up to his waist, a little higher. Works there. Rodimus out of the way here. Here he is with MP44 Optimus. I always kind of pictured those two about the same height, maybe Magnus a little bigger. So, you know, it's, it's close. Here he is with Fans Toys. Sovereign, and, you know, they look good. Let's see here, keep, keep those guys there, and the car bot, here's uh, a wobbly masterpiece wheel jack, so very small compared to Ultra Magnus. Move some of these guys out of the way. Let's see here. Which are a little more organized here. Here's with my newest 
purchase that I did a review on, Deformation Space Skywarp. Just so you can see how he lines up with Ultra Magnus. Move RC out of the way here. And one more size comparison on this guy. There he is with Gigapower Superator. As you can see, uh, Superator, I haven't bent forward a little, but let's see. It's about. If he was standing up tall, they'd be about maybe the same height. In robot mode, they're about the same height. If that gives you kind of an indication of how big Magnus is. If Springer doesn't, I mean, so. Yeah, so that's Ultra Magnus. Again, really would like to get a, a shinier painted, maybe more metallic, a little heavier die cast figure that was maybe a little smaller. I feel like it could be done, you know, with the, the way they did Road King, Vance Toys did Road King Motormaster, how they pulled a full tractor trailer, you know, got that to fold into a figure that wasn't, you know, as as thick and, and uh, large as Ultra Magnus is. But again, for now, this figure is going to be my Ultra Magnus. I think he's a great piece to have on your shelf. He looks good with all the different Autobots from Season 3, Season 1, Season 2. You know, he's just, if you have a movie shelf, you're going to want to have him. So he's a, he's a good figure to have. And thanks again for watching. And again, this is Takara Tomy's Masterpiece Ultra Magnus MP22. And... I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.